How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be doing a little tool review on a product that I purchased that was not initially designed to be using it for what I use it for, but it's a tool that comes in handy and I've been using it more and more lately, and I just wanted to share it with you. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So spring is here, and with that, I am starting to get lawnmowers coming into my shop that won't start. And unfortunately, some of those mowers that do come in look a little bit like this. So they never came in during the fall time for like an annual maintenance where I would have scraped and cleaned out the deck. Because as you've seen in previous videos that I've done, the longer you leave grass on a mower deck, the worse condition the metal mower deck will be because all of this grass here is going to retain moisture and it's gonna leach that into the steel mower deck. So your mower deck will end up rusting and rotting through and you'll end up having something like this. I'll put a picture up on screen where the metal gets so weak due to the rust that it ends up cracking and we have to go in there and patch it and weld it and you know try to fix it up. So one of the steps that I'm doing on this mower here is going to be scraping all of this grass and debris from the underside of this mower deck here. Now, normally I would use something like this. This is basically a paint scraper and it has a thin sharp edge on it and it is very flexible. So it can contour to the rounded corners and edges of a mower deck. However, the handle is very small and the blade here, it's not very long and it's not very wide either. And when you're trying to get into some hard to reach spots here, as you go down here, you're gonna notice that uh, you know my hand is rubbing up against the bottom of the deck. Now these paint scrapers here, they work great. You know, I've used them for years and I'm going to be showing you a product that I purchased. So this is it right here. This is what I've wanted to share with you. This is a six inch by two inch flat margin trowel made by a company called QEP. And I purchased this on amazon.ca for I believe six or $7 on sale. And this has been my favorite deck scraping tool. And I'm going to show you why. So right off the bat, you guys can see the difference in size. Clearly the flat margin trowel is much longer, also much wider as well than the small paint scraper. It also has a very large plastic handle, which is great. You can grab a hold of that and your hand is not going to slip, especially when you're forcing that margin trowel up against some harder debris, which I'll show you on a riding mower that I recently scraped the deck on. Here's a great little side-by-side -side shot. You can see that the blade on the margin trowel is almost as big as the entire paint scraper itself. But one of the things that I like the most about using this flat margin trowel is you're going to notice that the paint scraper, like I said, it's straight. Whereas the margin trowel has a nice offset handle that comes out here at a 90 degrees, but then kind of goes off at a nice 45 degree angle at the top. So again, going back to the bottom edge of this mower deck here, if I wanna go ahead and go up underneath a deck, let's say that's lifted in the air and not flipped on its side, I can go ahead and scrape the debris and the handle stays just under that lip. And if there was a blade here, I don't have to worry about rubbing my knuckles up against the blade. And while the blade itself on the margin trowel isn't that much thicker than the blade on the paint scraper here, the paint scraper blade is extremely flexible. And we're gonna get into that why that's kind of a benefit because on the margin trowel, you guys are gonna see that there is a little bit of flex at the tip, but that blade is incredibly strong. And it's because it has, you might not be able to see it, but there is a ridge built up in the center on the top of this blade to give it added strength. Now this video isn't necessarily going to be how to scrape a deck because, well, that should be pretty much straightforward. You're just gonna take any kind of blade and go in there and you're just gonna try to dig in and remove all of that material. And again, offset handle gives you plenty of room to go in there and get up underneath all of that debris there. So trying to zoom in here, you guys can see just how dry 
all of this grass and debris is on this mower deck. But right away, you guys are going to notice that the grass here is a much darker color. And I'm going to show you that on the outside, the grass is dry. But once you start to get to the inside, it is very wet. And that is all the moisture that's going to be leached into the steel. You guys can see it all over my thumb there. So this is why you wanna be scraping all of the debris from your deck. Also, this is one of the cons of running a mulch plug. So I actually have one of these snapper mowers. I'm gonna be doing a video on the drive system because it's very unique and very much like a snowblower. So I wanted to show you guys that. On mine, we have a side discharge chute that allows all of the grass to be pushed out the side of the deck. With the mulch plug, all of this grass builds up underneath your deck. So you have to do regular maintenance and scrape this stuff out. And again, I just wanted to do a video. You guys can see all of that stuff clogging up. We're just gonna keep continuing to scrape all of this crap out of here. And you guys can see right away, it gets down right to the metal deck. Now, like I said, one of the drawbacks to using this flat margin trowel is that if I was to come in here and scrape, you guys are gonna notice that the blade wants to stay straight and it kind of stops right about at that position. Whereas if I go in with the paint scraper, because this blade is super flexible, I push it in and that blade continues to conform against the curve of the mower deck. So that is one of the added benefits of this here paint scraper but again you know I love this thing for how good it works and it's also quite heavy it, it feels you know really comfortable in your hand obviously because it has this large plastic handle but one of the benefits and I'll show you this in a clip shortly is when you're scraping a dry mower deck that has you know caked on bits of dirt this thing has a lot of weight to it which means as you're sliding it, it carries that momentum. So once you hit something that's kind of, you know, dried on there, it hits that and it wants to chip it off. Set. Like I said, you just go in there and start scraping away some of this stuff. And you should be doing this annually to keep that surface clean. And at first glance, it may not have looked like there was much under there, but I can assure you there is quite a bit of stuff. So I just went ahead and scooped everything up in a small snow shovel here. And you guys can see that it is quite a bit of debris that will stick to your deck, even though it may not look like it when, you know, you're up under there looking at it because all of this stuff is, uh, you know, like I said, pretty compacted. Like this stuff is bone dry, obviously, because it's been sitting, but uh, this stuff really sticks to the deck because if it gets bad enough to the point where you can't weld repair it, you're gonna have to look for a replacement deck and that can be very costly. And in a lot of cases where you get this older equipment, you're not gonna be able to find one and you're just gonna need a new riding mower. But I don't want to get too much into the whole, you know, deck restoration or uh, deck cleaning. I do have a video on that. So you could go ahead and click on the top right of your screen to see that video. Whereas with the paint scraper here, I've noticed that I've been, you know, trying to remove some of those harder bits and it kind of just bumps right over it or it just completely stops when you hit something that's much harder. You know, that won't be an issue on this deck because you guys can see just how much moisture is in this grass. I mean, again, guys, you know, don't let your decks rot out because of a lack of maintenance. Flipping your mower to the side, doing an oil change while you're at it, and scraping out this mower deck will save you from having to buy another lawnmower in you know just a few years and will extend the life of the mower you have. Check that out. This thing peels it off pretty much in one big piece. Now, down by this bottom edge here, the grass is a little bit more dry. And I just wanna show you that the paint scraper does still work here, but because it's a smaller blade, it kinda wants to dart off to either side. Whereas with the flat margin trowel, 
kind of follows that groove and just cuts a nice line around that deck there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this mower deck scraped out. You guys can already see the massive pile of grass that we're starting to build here. And I can assure you there's still plenty more to be scraped off. One of the nice things is that you can also use it kind of like a hook to go in with the sharp edge, you know, reverse instead of scraping. We're now kind of, uh, you know, digging almost like a, a garden tool here to get some of the harder to reach areas on this plastic mulch plug there. Comes off in a nice clean scrape. Look at that. Nice to see. This is a commercial unit, so that would normally be plastic on something that's a, like a residential mower, whereas this commercial snapper, it's got a metal belt cover there. That's a nice addition. Okay, so as I'm scraping, I just wanted to show you guys, see that big chunk there? So unfortunately, that is a piece of the mower deck. So these commercial snappers, they're built with a fairly thick steel deck, but again, unfortunately, without the proper annual maintenance, you're gonna run into that. So now there is a weak spot in this area here. And unfortunately, that is where your upright goes to mount your wheel. So imagine all of the weight of the mower is gonna be resting against this, which is going to be pushing on this plate. And now that this section is rusted and rotted away, this area is now thinner thus going to be weaker. So I could see this weld cracking at some point and that lifting up and this deck needing a repair. Okay, so I've got the majority of the mower deck scraped out now. There's just a couple little bits here and there. And you just have to remember, you really don't have to do a perfect job when scraping a mower deck. We've removed all of that, which I'm going to put into just a white plastic grocery bag so that you guys can see just how much grass there is and debris that does stick up under these decks. Check this out, guys. That's full as full can be. So I'll show that to my customer, recommend that he brings this mower to me at the end of the 2021 season so I can go ahead and, you know, maybe remove the blade, sharpen and balance the blade, scrape the deck, and then that's it. You know, if he needs an air filter or something, I can do that, oil change, I can do that. And then for the next season, the thing's ready to go. You fire it up and you don't have to worry about, you know, anything going wrong. That's one of the big things about preventative maintenance is you're preventing something from going wrong. And something quite interesting that I'd like to share with you guys is the blade for this particular snapper commercial grade lawnmower. It's something that not a lot of you have probably seen in the past. This is called a snapper ninja blade. It's one solid four edged blade and it has been designed as one of their mulching blades that they use. I can put a picture up on screen to show you that. Basically what it does is creates like a vortex system in between the two ends of the blade there so that it just keeps recirculating the grass so that the blade cuts it once. It's a long piece of grass. And then as it spins around, it gets cut again a second, third, fourth, fifth time. And uh, it really creates a fine debris that mulches the grass very well. But again, with that mulching plug, if you're not cleaning out the underside of your deck and you have, you know, like a full bag of debris in there, this system is not going to work at all because there is physically not enough space between the blade and the mower deck to create that vortex system of air that recirculates the grass and recuts it. What you're doing is you're cutting grass and the grass cannot go up into the blade to keep recirculating because it's already packed full of grass. So your mower is going to bog down. And that's one of the things that my customer had complained about, thinking that it might be related to the carburetor. But in fact, this thing fires up first pull and runs smooth. And when I flipped this mower up to look at the underside of the deck, as soon as I saw how much debris was under there, I said that was one of the contributing factors is that the mower deck just simply cannot cut the grass because there's not enough room underneath it for that debris to go anywhere. And I did highly recommend to my customer that he get a full service. After I sent him some pictures, he thoroughly agreed. So I'm pretty much going through this thing top to bottom and I'm going to service it for him so that he shouldn't have any issues. But like I said, today's video was more about focusing on this QEP six inch flat margin trowel. I did pick this up on Amazon. I'll try to leave a link 
to this product down in the description below. This thing costs about six or seven dollars, I believe, when I initially purchased it, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find a six by two inch flat margin trowel with an offset handle. I can guarantee that you will not be disappointed if you go ahead and spend a few dollars on one of these things at your local hardware store. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Like I said, just a quick little tool review on something that I purchased that, again, was not designed for what I'm using it for. You kind of repurpose things in the trade that I'm in here, fixing small engines. You always find a use for some kind of tool, whatever it may be. And in this case, it was a flat margin trowel that I ended up using as a mower deck scraper. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.